。アヤムアーゆっくりレイム。アヤムアーゆっくりマリサ。In this midnight radio channel, our AI robot Monica will introduce you to SCP. Please like and subscribe to our channel before we get into the main story. Enjoy the show. Item hashtag SCP-013. Object class safe. Special containment procedures SCP-013 are to be kept in a secure storage vault at Site-66. Exposed subjects are to be monitored for differences between their symptoms. Exposed subjects are to be interviewed daily, and any changes in perception are to be logged. Description: SCP-013 is the collective designation of 242 cigarettes which display similar anomalies. The most common external detail between instances is the presence of the words "Blue Lady" handwritten on each cigarette in blue ink. Subjects who consume the contents of SCP-013 through inhalation will begin to perceive themselves as a specific unidentified woman. Subjects have described the woman to be aged between 25 and 35 years old, standing approximately 1.6 meters tall, with an estimated weight of between 50 and 55 kilograms. Additional recurring details include cropped dark hair, blue eyes, and bright blue lipstick. Immediately after consuming an instance of SCP-013, subjects will gradually begin to perceive reflections of themselves as having the features of the woman, and will gradually perceive their bodies changing to reflect her appearance over the course of the following weeks. All changes are entirely mental. The subject's body does not change outwardly; only their perception of themselves. These alterations are permanent and cannot be reversed. SCP-013 was discovered after the suicide of an Ian Miles, packed in a large cardboard crate in his apartment. A cursory search of the apartment uncovered several hundred sketches of a figure strongly resembling the one perceived while under 013's effect. Miles' body had been found sitting at a desk, dead of a massive overdose, and draped over a handwritten note transcribed below. During the investigation of Miles' apartment, one civilian investigator became affected by 013's effect. An embedded agent soon contacted the nearest site. The subject, the artifact, and related evidence were extracted and contained. Currently, 217 instances of SCP-013 cigarettes are contained at BioSite 66. 25 SCP-013 cigarettes are contained at Research Sector 09. Pending future research into similar anomalous effects. Addendum: Below is the note which was acquired along with SCP-013. I see her everywhere. That sad blue lady. I feel like I used to should know her, but I can't remember. I love her, but I don't know why. She's so beautiful and sweet and clear, but I don't know any more. Item hashtag SCP-014. Object class safe.
Special Containment Procedures SCP-014 is to be kept in sight, in a chair with arms, preferably facing a window. Music should be supplied on a regular basis, preferably constantly. This music should not include pieces originating after 1937. A security camera should be present in SCP-014's room. Description, SCP-014 is a Caucasian male, appearing to be approximately 30 years of age, with black hair, brown eyes, and a somewhat round face. Records indicate his name to be Robert Chetford, confined in 1915 to the Norwich Asylum in Connecticut for delusional insanity, claiming that he had been cursed to live forever, and was slowly turning into concrete in consequence. The asylum closed in 1937, and the patients were transferred to various other facilities. SCP-014 came to Foundation attention in 1-9, from rumors of a patient who seemed to be entirely immobile and showed no signs of aging. Further investigation determined that acquisition was warranted. SCP-014 is to all outward appearances a normal man, but he does not appear to age, and shows no signs of possessing a metabolism. He does not eat, drink, perspire, or in any other way demonstrate life functions. He breathes only to speak, and apart from his eyes and vocal apparatus, is to all appearances utterly immobile. He has never shown any evidence of pressure ulcers despite his position not having varied for several decades, neither do his muscles appear atrophied. He can converse normally but shows little knowledge of or interest in events since his confinement. Addendum, note, frankly, were I to interview this man without knowing his history, I'd think he was a perfectly sane and well-adjusted individual who happens to be quadriplegic. As it is, I have to conclude that he's the ultimate proof of the idea that the mind rules the body. He thinks he's concrete, and will live forever, and so he's as close to both as he can be. Somehow. What did you think? This time SCPs still had very interesting performance and functions. To humans, any SCP is dangerous and can be a threat. Please handle SCPs with care in case they appear around you. Please do not let them enter your rooms. And above all, please do not ever hurt SCP. We will do our best to prevent it. Good to hear. I will continue to introduce SCP and UMA to you and look forward to working with you for many years to come. Good night. <laughs>